Okay, here we are. It's Brent from Path and Tarot. And in this video, we're going to be playing Beat the Devil with the Path and Playing Cards. And we're going to be using uh, the updated version of the Path and, and Playing Cards that include the 22 major arcana cards. So it has become a tarot deck uh, once again. Um, and you can use uh, any old tarot deck if you want to play this game that I'm going to teach you here. Strip out the cards if you want to make 56 or 52, whichever you like. Um, we're going to play with the full 78 um, uh, cards here. Uh, so the path and playing cards, uh, they are the same as you've seen them before, uh, but with the addition of the, the, the 22 uh, major arcana cards in a, in a new uh, like symmetrical design that uh, I think really works and ties it all together here and pretty soon you can get these uh, cards on uh, makeplayingcards.com you'll see that come up very soon so this is more like a, a teaser trailer of the cards to you know maybe see if you're interested or not and then you know eventually it'll uh, you know there'll be some uh, like a formal announcement and you, you can get these cards like officially if you want them so okay here we are this is a good game I, I love playing beat the devil because it has um, elements of strategy there's a lot of luck involved um, but you can also uh, get some uh, a divination like um, effects out of this when you're when you're playing with a with the tarot deck um, so it, it's really cool a, a lot of the difficulty comes from how you set up your game so in the, in the original uh, beat the devil game you're dealing with um, uh, finding matches basically so what you do is you got to use up all the cards in your deck and you've got eight piles uh, to fill up so what you do is you draw out a card well two cards to be um, specific and then if they match you would cover each of the cards if they don't match you just draw a card into the new pile and you just keep going until you uh, make as many matches as you can if you um, use up all eight piles and you don't use up uh, the deck then you lose um, if you're able to use the whole deck uh, then you win you beat the devil it's uh, as simple as that but when we've got the uh, full tarot deck in here the 78 cards it presents uh, interesting uh, difficulties because it allows you to have uh, more match potential because uh, with these new rules the ma all the major cards match so you know your your full matches with you know whatever like a emperor or whatnot so all the majors have matching potential so it means that you can match more often with the the, the 22 majors but there's more cards so it can be more difficult so you can set up your difficulty by just saying how many piles you want to use in this case we're gonna we're gonna take a little easy so we're gonna use 12 piles uh, we could still lose um don't get me wrong it's uh, you know this game is challenging but we'll do we'll do 12 piles and see what we can make of uh, the cards here so we start off there we go and we grab another card see if they match and they do match so all we got to do let me just suppress the pop-ups all we got to do when, when you get a match very simply you just draw a card onto the next card and if they match you just keep going uh, if they don't then draw a card into the new pile and that's basically the rules right there you just draw into the new pile if you have no matches and when you run out of piles that's it game over so no match into the new pile no match into the new pile so we're seeing like a straightening effect right one two three uh, a sequence that's not good uh, that that means that the uh, deck has been sort of uh, shuffled into a configuration that just doesn't contain uh, matches. Um, so that's uh, an interesting thing that you can pick up on when you when you play this game often enough. So again, yeah, no no matches, right? Um, there we go. Let's see what happens. Here we go. We've got uh, two and a four, so let's cover them up. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there you go. So like it, it the sequence uh, broadens um, to create less opportunity for matches and more sequence. So still nothing. 
But this is kind of cool. We've got like a good mixture of like the elements here, right? We got the diamonds, hearts, clubs. And what's this going to be? Queen. So still, still no matches. So we're getting on our last leg here. We got nine. So then this is our tenth pile. We got twelve that we declared. Ah, uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So the sequence gets even bigger. So there you go. We got eleven. And there you go. There's our next match. So let's see how far we can go with, with this. And uh, yeah, there we go. It sort of leaves us stuck. We're, we're at the universe. Um, you know, the, the, the 21st uh, or 22nd, you know, depending on how you look at it. But, uh, you know, I, I, I'd say the, the world is 21. We'll leave it at that. Or the universe. Um, you know, so we've got all this, like, potential here in our last card so who knows what's going to happen and that's kind of the cool thing that you can um, that you have the opportunity to work with when you've got the tarot cards like this right when you're playing this game you get you can have these like reading opportunities so it's cool you, you know you got this like sequence of events that lines up through the other suits it's like a parallel realities okay this is it it's kind of exciting because this is the last card. If we don't get a match, we lose. So far, the um, the major arcanas didn't really give us that many opportunities to have uh, multiple pairs show up. But uh, let's see what happens. There we go. We got a four. So we're playing with all 12. We are at max capacity. So if we run out of matches, we lose the game. Okay, let's do it. Ooh, eight. There you go. So we're like we're. Th this is where the the game becomes really, really energetic. It's, you know, it's like oh, okay, this is it. This is every moment is the fight. Oh, there you go. This is so. This is what I'm talking about. So you've got um, all the majors match. That's the rule, right? The they all uh, have matching potential. Uh, so because there's 22 of them, you've got lots of opportunities to match these up. And uh, it has saved us here and now. So let's cover up these cards and see where it takes us. There. Okay, so... Oh, no! That was it. Is that it? No, is it? Two, three, five, six, eight, ten, Jack. Yeah, that that is it for the uh, the game. So we, we kind of ended up with like strength as our last um, major card, but that that's kind of a cool message. Like, let's turn on the pop-ups for it just a quick second so you know with strength it's like you know dealing with like love trust chaos hoo 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 neat that, that's a good message uh, to end off with so if you don't win the game you still have something to play with at the end right so this is you know a, a game of uh, interesting phases as well right you've got your game phase and afterwards you can kind of ponder the cards that end up uh, as a result of the, uh, the element of luck but also the element of human strategy like your interaction with the cards because you got to choose which matches uh, you covered right so there's you know the human element was in there the chaos is in there the potential and all that uh, so you know you could really say that this is like a like a nicely crafted divination that you you can end up and start to play with and play with the other meanings here but let you know just we'll leave it with like strength I think that's a good um, card to um, leave with because I, I truly love this game this this is a game that I, I really have a saw you know that's like a part of, it's it's just like in my soul you know like I love it it's deep within my heart um, and you really to to really understand how the universe works right the, you know when we saw that card uh, you know moments ago love is the true uh, language of the universe compassionate 
absolute love um, is really how it works and uh, you know that can be said like I, I, I like I like what I do here in these videos I have fun with it I, I truly love it and I hope you do too I hope you can get something from this uh, and learn something um, that maybe you haven't thought about before when you're dealing with your tarot cards playing games with them is a good way to get yourself involved in the cards more um, even just getting maybe halfway through the deck we saw we had a chance to see a lot of cards right um, visually see them in some sort of pattern even if it's just for a short moment um, it gives your consciousness the ability to just perceive the cards and um, in different ways that they may not have the opportunity to be in um, if you haven't if you don't use them shuffle them up and have them out in front of you uh, you know this is like a digital space like with Orpheles Tarot right so I'm just doing this in a digital way because it's easier to capture which is you know just grab your tarot deck wherever it is and start playing if you want to you know kill about five ten minutes and I'll see you in the next video oh before I go I almost forgot to promote this you can get this deck pretty soon on makeplaincards.com so you can also almost treat this video as a uh, you like a teaser trailer for the deck uh, so you know the promotional in, in that sense uh, so so keep that in mind um, sign up for the uh, a mailing list down below and uh, I'll give you a free uh, playing card deck in fact I can go ahead and open it up and show you what you would get for free So I'll just email it to you uh, with the autoresponder from A Weber. Just it, it would be yours. It's yours. It's free. Take it. So you get you get this. So you could actually play Beat the Devil within Orphalese Tarot because that's what I'll teach you in the uh, email from the autoresponder. I, I kind of give you a hint to hey, go download this for free and put this into the into the program and you can use it like this for free. It's all free. You don't have to buy this uh, program. Um, with a license although that's what I did to get more customizability but you don't you can just test it out and play with it and that's what I'll give you for free uh, so so there you go that that's the the coda the, the promo coda uh, and I I will see you in the next video uh, wh whenever you see it whenever my name whenever I make it okay bye <laughs>